Welcome to telecommunication resellers.com. In today's broadcast, we're going to do a Joomla update using the Joomla backend on your web page through the administrative panel. Take a look at my site, telecommunicationresellers.com. If you're looking for iPage web hosting or any type of product, come over here. I give you this video free. So let's get started here. So what we want to do is let's go to our, our test page, our test site. Here's the site we're going to be working on. And what I wanted to show you was that before you do the update here, it's, I recommend that you download your PHP file because after you do the update, it's going to, to uh, erase everything. They're going to put a new PHP, index PHP. So what we want to do is we want to go into a back page, iPage, a back end of iPage. And if you want to find a low cost, well performing uh, web host, iPage, I recommend. So you can get that link over at telecommunicationresellers.com. So what we want to do is we want to go into the back end of our file manager and we want to find our uh, template, which is a B's 20 template under our particular uh, web page. So we're going to go down to templates and go into B's 20. And this index PHP file right here, this is the one we want to download. So we want to download. So we want to download that. We want to download that file. And here's our download button over here. So we click on that and it downloads it into our download folder. So I'm just going to drag it over and put it on my desktop. So now it's time to do the update. So we'll go over here and we'll hit this, hit the Joomla 2.5 where it says update now. I'm going to try to keep this video here to less than four minutes. So now we hit the install the update. And I'm going to pause it while it grows through that. And when we get done, we'll come back and show you what it looks like. So this is what it's going to look like. This is what it looks like when you have successfully completed the update. So let's go to our site and see what it looks like. After refreshing my site, this is what it looks like. As you can see now, I don't have a header. I don't have my font is moved to the side over here. That's because of the PHP file. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to that file manager. We're going to re go back into that to folder. We're going to click on the index.php file and we're going to delete it. Now we're going to go to our upload and we're going to find that PHP file which I have here on my desktop. So you probably can't see that because I don't have the screen covering the entire screen. So our upload is there. So let's go back to our website and see what happens. Went back to our website. So there we go. And what the problem was, was this, let me show you what the actual problem was. If you don't have the correct name in the uh, PHP file, you have to change it back to the name. And it was like, if it has a number in here per se, let's look at that. You go save. It's going to save the file, but it's going to ruin your page. It's not going to show up. It's going to show up as a, as an error. Well, it should have showed up as an error as it did right there, as you can see. So make sure that you change this name here on that uh, template back to just regular index.php and hit save and then go back to your page and hit refresh and let's try it again. And there we go. So the important options are download the PHP file first out of the directory of the template. Do the update. Then when you up 
go back into the file folder again, delete the uh, current version, the upgraded version, and then reinstall your. So let me show you what, what that file looked like once I downloaded it. So you'll see it's this index.php file five right here. That's the file what it looks like when it downloaded. So we want to change the name of this. Make sure we change that name back to just regular index.php. And then re-upload it back to our site and we should get our site back. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this short video on how to do a Joomla update. My name is Greg from telecommunicationresellers.com. Have a good day.